Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is my topic is uh, predicting permanent pacemaker implantation following TABAR. Uh, TABAR is a safe alternative to surgery for the treatment of symptomatic CBRS patient at all level of surgical risk. Despite improvement on procedural safety and efficacy, permanent pacemaker implantation remains a common finding after TABA compared with surgical AVR. Uh, main mechanism is uh, mechanical or inflammatory trauma of AV conduction system during guide wire insertion, balloon predilation, and valve deployment. High degree AV block and new onset left bundle branch block is uh, most common conduction disturbance. Uh, almost half of these uh, improve self improvement over time with a, a permanent pacemaker insertion uh, due to resolution of the inflammation and edema caused during TABA. According to the data published uh, before uh, 2015, uh, when early generation valve was used for TABA, uh, new onset left bundle branch block occurred in. 40 to 60 percent of core valve cases and 10 to 30 percent of sapient valve cases. Incidence of permanent pacemaker insertion at the TABAR has been reported in many studies and uh, there are uh, some differences. In the case of core valve, uh, the incidence of permanent pacemaker implantation has decreased with the use of a new generation ablock valve. However, in the partner trial, uh, the incidence of permanent pacemaker insertion was less frequent in early generation sapient valves. According to the most recently reported uh, random, randomized clinical uh, trial results from the two valves, uh, the, perm the permanent pacemaker insertion rate was 6.5% uh, in the balloon expandable sapient valve and 17.4% of uh, self-expandable ablock valves. Uh, this is a uh, pacemaker rate after TABAR from uh, real-world registry data. Uh, in the US STS-ACC TVT registry, uh, the pacemaker insertion rate tend to increase until the 2015, but then gradually decreased to about 10% recently. This is probably because many, many centers with uh, limited initial TABA experience, but uh, pacemaker rate decreased with increased TABA experience. Uh, from the data out of the US, uh, there was uh, fewer pacemaker implantation in Asia compared to the Western country. Uh, in the KTABI registry reported in 2018, uh, Permanent pacemaker implantation was 5.8%. In the PATNA 2 trial, uh, new onset LBBB occurred in about 15% uh, in surgical intermediate risk TABA recipients. Compared to the no left bundle branch block patient group, new onset LBBB patients showed a larger outcome in all causes of mortality and cardiovascular death at two year follow up. Pacemaker implantation of TABA may be associated with uh, mortality and uh, mortality. Uh, from the TBT registry, uh, PP, permanent pacemaker after TABA showed a 31% increase in mortality and 23% increase in uh, readmission due to heart failure at one year. This data is a result of a meta-analysis of 28 studies. Patients who have received permanent pacemaker of the TABA experience higher risk of mortality and heart failure rehospitalization over the time. Uh, permanent pacemaker of the TABA patient group has increased in mortality at, of uh, 21% and heart failure related readmission of 30% in long term follow up. Uh, predictor of conduction disturbance of the TABA. Uh, the pre procedural pro uh, predictor of new onset LBBB after TABA includes uh, female sex and diabetes mellitus and prior coronary uh, bypass graft, uh, first degree AV block, and prolonged QRS duration and autogenulous calcification. Uh, 
procedural factor uh, include core valve implantation, uh, predilation, and large oversizing, and uh, low implantation depth. This is a summary of the most commonly reported predictors of permanent pacemaker insertion with their uh, respected uh, odds ratio and relative risks. Uh, predicting permanent pacemaker insertion at the TABA is very important. Uh, but what's more important is preventing it from happening. Of these many factors, of these many factors, uh, the ones we can control are procedural, procedural factors, especially in patients at uh, high risk for uh, permanent pacemaker insertion, selection of valve type, uh, determination of implant depth, oversizing ratio uh, are very important, I think. Uh, this is a retrospective data from a uh, uh, single center in Japan. Uh, Self expandable and balloon expandable valves were compared when using conventional and high, implant te high implantation technique. High implantation technique reduced the incidence of new conduction disturbance after TABA uh, for both groups. Uh, especially in TABA using Evolut, uh, permanent pacemaker insertion was performed in 10.8% uh, of cases in conventional group but permanent pacemaker insertion was performed in 0% uh, of cases in the high implantation group. This data was from Cleveland Clinic. Uh, in TABAR using SAPN3, the high implantation technique group showed significantly less permanent pacemaker insertion and new onset LBBB than the conventional technique group. And there was no difference in AR grade and hemodynamic performance. Uh, from now on, I will show a case of treating a patient with high-risk factors of uh, permanent pacemaker insertion after TABA. Uh, 78 year old male, uh, symptomatic CBOS patient, uh, VMAX was 4.2 and mean pressure gradient was uh, 46 and AV area was 0 0.9. Uh, the, e the EKG showed uh, regular sinus rhythm, but uh, right bundle branch block was observed. Uh, CT showed uh, severe calcification at the aortic valve tip and calcification of the aortic annulus below the RCC. On CT scan, annulus area was about uh, 500 and perimeter was uh, 82 millimeter. The M <coughs> MS length was relatively long at uh, 7.5 millimeter, but extended calcium was seen in the annulus level below the RCC. As a result, uh, planning, uh, SAPIN 3 showed 6.3% uh, oversizing ratio of the 26 millimeter valve by 1 cc overfill, uh, and Evolut showed uh, in the borderline size. We choose uh, Sapiens 3, 26 millimeter valve. This is video of the tabar uh, being performed. Uh, for, the, for the high implantation, the implantation depth was determined uh, based on the radio recent line uh, rather than con uh, central balloon marker in the, in the silicosis view. When using the balloon expandable valve for TABA, I performed the procedure while uh, feeling uh, resistance in my hand. Uh, on fluoroscopy, if valve was, valve is well expand and I feel resistance in my hand, I don't push it further, even if a small amount of contrast uh, remained in the interpolator. Some contrast in the interpolator. Okay but I don't, do not further push. Uh, usually, resistance is felt when the gaze was at six atmosphere. Uh, mm -hmm. In this case, about one cc was remained, but resistance was felt uh, result in an oversizing ratio of uh, zero to two percent. 
Even though uh, the oversizing ratio was small, the results uh, were very good. Uh, AR was trivial and no conduction disturbance uh, was seen on EKG. The sapient valve overlying the annular plane is visible on the follow-up uh, CT scan. Uh, the patient doing well with a pacemaker insertion for one year. This is the, the outcome of Tabar performed at Puchan Sejong Hospital since uh, 2020. Uh, overall pacemaker insertion rate was 3.1%. Uh, in Sapien 3 and Ultra patient, uh, 30 days pacemaker insertion rate 1.4% and no annular rupture and no valve embolization. Uh, in Evolut Pro or Evolut R group, uh, 30 days pacemaker insertion was 7.5% uh, and no annular rupture, but uh, two bevel embolization cases was occurred. This is my last, sl last slide. Uh, conduction disturbance uh, after TABAR, uh, left bundle branch block and permanent pacemaker are uh, uh, frequent, but uh, not benign complication of TABAR. Post TABAR permanent pacemaker risk factors uh, is uh, Patient-related factor was, uh, is uh, RBBB and first degree AV block, membrane septum length, uh, calcification. And procedural factor were uh, implantation depth and valve type, valve oversizing ratio. Preventing permanent pacemaker insertion after TABA is more important than predict, predicting it. Higher implantation technique and minimize oversizing technique may prevent permanent pacemaker insertion after TABA. Thank you for your attention.